And we begin with that mangled mess in downtown San Antonio thanks to last night's heavy rain and wind. Right now, construction crews are working to disassemble what's occupying most of the 300 block of East Martin. This after scaffolding broke away from the at and Till building and went crashing onto part of St. Mark's Episcopal Church and the ground below. Our Devin Clark spoke to the church reverend about the impact to that building. He joins us now live with what he was able to find out. Devin. Well, Myra Tim, the church is still waiting to find out exactly how much money it's going to cost to fix the church. But we do know good news. The damage is contained to the parish house, which is the side of the church that holds the meetings and events. It has not affected the worship area. But just take a look at the mess left behind. The scaffolding crushed the air conditioning unit, which cools the entire church. The Reverend is hopeful, though, that they'll be able to bring in temporary chillers and have them up and running in time for Sunday service at 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, we do know that strong winds caused the scaffolding to topple over around 930 last night. And fortunately, no one was hit by the flying metal and only a few minor injuries were reported by people who were able to get away. Now, this morning, the code compliance officers with the city went inside of the church to see if there was any damage to the structure that compromises its integrity. And after canceling a musical event today, the church reverend tells us that the structure is stable, but the building is in serious need of repair. And fortunately, she says the church does have good insurance. We know that we've got some roof damage. We know that our chiller has been crushed. We know that there's a lot of water incursion throughout the um, parish house. Um, what many of our parishioners and community will want to know is that our historic church that's 161 years old is fine. And we spoke to construction workers here on the scene who say that they'll be working throughout the night to methodically take the scaffolding down, starting from the top of the building and working all the way down. They say they want to make sure that the cleanup is done safely. And as you can imagine, this has become the main attraction downtown coming up at six. We speak to business owners and people who live and work in the area about how this 100 foot scaffolding collapse has impacted them. For now, reporting live downtown, Devin Clark, KSAT 12 News.